Hello everybody, here we are tracking another update here as Cristobal nears the Louisiana coast is within miles of bringing the eye wall here and they're going to be uh, continuing to move to the north moving and affecting parts of Mississippi, Louisiana and a lot of the Gulf Coast here. We're already seeing rough conditions with a lot of storm surge already as we continue to see these outer bands bring very strong tropical downpours and also we are already seeing some strong severe weather likely to bring in tornadoes, water spouts, catastrophic flooding, strong winds, power outages and a lot more. Also we're going to be seeing some dangerous sea conditions with 9 to 14 foot waves and also going to be seeing storm surge and very dangerous rip currents as the conditions get worse as this center of the system does near the U.S. coast here. So this is a new advisory packet adv uh, update here for Cristobal. And we'll be looking at the updates here on when it's going to make a landfall, which will be very soon. We're going to be looking at the cone, the timing here, who can get the worst, and also tracking the possibility for maybe some, some strong severe weather as well. But without further ado, let's get this tropical update. So here we are looking at the National Weather Service here because we have a lot of alerts here Chris, uh, for Cristobal as far north as uh, as far north as Missouri and as far south as Florida. So very large area of potential activity from Cristobal. So let's go and start out the, the uh, high surf warnings here. We do have high surf warnings and effects for portions of Florida as well as portions of Alabama and also very widespread flash flood watches here for portions of Florida, Alabama, Georgia, and also flash flood watches across parts of the lower Mississippi, Mississippi uh, ba uh, basin here for portions of Little Rock, uh, portions of the Louisiana Mississippi border, and all the way up into Missouri here. Let's go and check out the south central coast here where we have the biggest updates. We also now have tornado warnings. Actually, we had tornado warnings here due to the severe weather, and we also know how we now have. Uh, these storm surge warnings becoming a bit more widespread now for portions of the Mississippi coast. We have New Orleans under these uh, storm surge warnings and tropical storm warnings. Areas near Baton Rouge, Macomb, uh, Gulfport, all the way to Alabama. We have these tropical storm warnings and very widespread flood warnings as well for portions of the uh, inland areas near the swamp areas of Louisiana and also to southern Mississippi here. We also have a tornado watch in effect for portions of southern uh, Alabama due to these very strong thunderstorms and potential supercells from this uh, from these outer bands. We can't rule out the possibility for these strong bands, and this has caused a, a special marine warning for portions in the Mobile Bay, Mobile, Pensacola, as far east as the uh, as far east as the western. Uh, Panhandle of Florida has tropical storm warnings, and we also have those high surf warnings and flood watches, and even flash flood watches for millions across the Gulf Coast. So we have a lot of a, a lot and a lot of alerts because of Cristobal. We even have these flash flood warnings for portions near Perry and Valdosta, all the way over there. As we now go in and check out the possibility here of the soon to be uh, Cristobal landfall. Here it is, Cristobal's right here just off the coast of Louisiana. We have the outer bands arriving as the thing is moving north at 12 miles per hour. So of course it is still moving at a pretty fast rate and it has now 50 miles per hour. So it's actually a, a decent storm here, actually a moderately strong tropical storm here with central pressure at 994 millibars. Let's go and check out the wind speed po uh, wind speed of uh, probabilities here and they have now gone to a 90 to a 100% chance for Louisiana now which I did predict almost as far back as four to five days ago and also we are going to be seeing a lot and a lot of uh, trouble storm forest winds for generally as well for the general gulf as we have these very widespread bands here so here we have tropical storm Crystal ball here, we're going to have all the way up to a 72 and 80 percent chance for tropical storm force winds for portions of Mississippi here. And even portions of Alabama do have a 30 to a 40 percent chance for tropical storm force winds here. Very, very strong winds for portions of New Orleans and portions of the southeastern coast here of Louisiana. Let's go and check out also the storm surge here. See how, how high this 
the water will get for these portions. The highest where we had these storm surge warnings is up to a three is up to three to five feet of potential storm surge. That could very well take over cars and this is definitely impossible to go over houses. So with that three to five feet uh three three to five foot storm surge, this could be a house and this could be a car right here. This can be a car right here. That water will get possibly way up here as well, way up there. That's what the storm surge is, is how high that water gets in inland. And also here you have the mouth of the Mississippi River. So this is over this is actually gonna overflow the Mississippi Mississippi River by feet of rain here. At feet of feet of storm surge. And also storm surge is gonna be added on to that up to maybe ten inches of rain. So we can possibly see up to four feet of water on the over water or sorry up to six feet of water at most and for portions of the mouth of the mississippi river that's going to overflow areas near the mississippi river of course including big cities like new orleans all the way to near morgan city we have a two four two to four foot storm surge and all the way from the florida coast all the way to marco island and portion of the tampa bay can have up to a one to three foot storm surge it's, it's still a lot of lot of water for inland areas here we have extreme rain here we have we now have a high risk for flash flooding which is absolutely crazy here a ton a ton of flooding as you see this is where we see the worst of the flash flooding in the coming days here so not going to be including the south not going to be including florida georgia alabama or portions of alabama yes but florida you're under 10 percent chance slight risk um as we begin to day one we have a 50 percent 50% chance high risk for extreme flash flooding here with the next couple hours here. Gonna be seeing a ton, a ton of rain, feet, or sorry, not feet, of uh, uh, inches and inches of rain per hour here with feet of storm surge for portions of Mississippi and New Orleans, uh, and portions of Louisiana. And then as we get up the Mississippi River, we're missing up to a moderate risk here with the extreme possibilities of having the overflow of this, uh, of the river. Let's go and check out the satellite imagery here. As you see, we are seeing very, very dense cloud cover for portions of the east coast or for, for parts of the Gulf Coast. Very dense cloud cover for portions of Tallahassee, Pensacola. You're going to be seeing this very dense cloud cover to continue to move in portions inland here as we have a ton of vorticity. Here's its low pressure zone right here. So this low pressure zone is just off the coast here of Louisiana. But we're seeing extreme, extreme dense cloud cover and already harsh conditions reported with very strong downpours for portions of New Orleans. Also, we're seeing already up to four plus inches of rain already for portions of New Orleans here, we'll check that uh, later on radar scope and see extreme cloud cover to continue throughout the day here for portions of the mid uh, of the mid uh, east uh, the mid Gulf Coast here for Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and portions of Western Florida. So that's where we're looking at the satellite imagery here. Let's go and check out the code and timing here. So we have these tropical storm warnings remain for as for portions of Louisiana all the way to the Western Florida Panhandle for near Pensacola and those dark blue coastal areas where we have those tropical storm warnings in effect. And we're already having tropical storm uh, tropical storm force with as far north as parts of the Mississippi inland areas. We're already seeing tropical storm force winds in inland areas in New Orleans. Gulfport and getting even closer inland into Mississippi and Louisiana as the system continues to move north here. As you see, the sand is going to become a post tropical depression, though. Uh, it will be it will make landfall the tropical storm but will be become a tropical depression as it does move into arkansas and this thing won't become post-tropical until it moves into illinois so this thing is not going to weaken that that fast it's going to become post it could become post-tropical all the way until michigan which is absolutely crazy how it can go through uh one two three four five six almost seven states before becoming post-tropical absolutely crazy the system here we have the track. We don't really have to look at the track. We kind of already know this, but as you see, this is going to become uh, make landfall a lot closer to losing uh, a lot closer to New Orleans than we thought. Uh, the past really two days, models have been showing it moving more to the east, but that's including now central Louisiana. So we actually look like we're going to have a landfall for central Louisiana, but now we're having almost a direct landfall for New Orleans. We're going to be seeing almost the eye wall moving, or the eye moving straight over New Orleans here. And then most of these, uh, almost 100% of the models do show it going into Mississippi here, then Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois. It's going to be going straight over the Mississippi River twice. Going to be going over the lower the lower Mississippi River right here in the mouth of the Mississippi River. And then it's going 
over the Mississippi River once again near St. Louis in Iowa and Illinois. Absolutely crazy how we're going to be seeing a ton and a ton of rain for a portion of the Mississippi River. Absolutely, cr absolutely crazy the uh, p potential for seeing overflowing for parts of St. Louis. Uh, Davenport, Illinois can obviously overflow, overflow a lot. As you see, this could become a uh, travel depression by the next 24 hours or the next 36 hours and then won't become post-tropical by later on. A couple models do show it's staying at a tropical storm here for the next coming days, but really in reality, this thing will become post or will become a tropical depression soon. As we now check the uh, day one outlook, we're not going to be looking at the northern plains today or right now. It'll be later today. We're going to be looking right here. We now have a slight risk for portions of uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, even portions as far west as Florida. I'm oh, sorry, far western panhandle also may be included under the slight risk here because we do have a good possibility for some strong winds and also uh, tornadoes. Marginal risk includes portions of near uh, the eastern coast of Florida all the way to portions up the Mississippi River here. We have a marginal for including uh, Jackson, Mississippi, Tallahassee, Gainesville, Florida, and then that's including up to 8 million people also the northern plains. And then the slight risk includes New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Mobile, Mattery, and Gulfport. Tornado probability, a 5% chance here for tornadoes right here for portions of, portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. I believe we've already had it. We've already had a tornado already today for portions of uh, Mississippi, I believe, or in Alabama. And then wind threats also going to be a 5% chance uh, mostly because the strongest winds will be tropical, not severe weather related. As we now check out the uh, radar here. Quickly here, it is going to make landfall very soon. It bring extremely heavy rain for portions of Mississippi uh, as it continues to move further inland, and it can continue to bring in that very heavy rain as it does move northward. CMC model as well showing very heavy rain for portions of the Big Bend area, uh, portions of uh, as well Alabama, uh, even the Mississippi River area. We see extremely heavy rain, and this will continue to move northward, entering Illinois uh, by the next coming 48 hours here. And it's going to you're definitely going to be seeing this really heavy rain. As we look at the, the icon model, the new update, it is going to be making landfall actually based on the icon for actually east of New Orleans. So this can very well have a landfall on Mississippi. So models are still disagreeing right before landfall. Let's look at the zero Z here. Zero Z is also showing it and making landfall for Louisiana, but just east of New Orleans, but still going to be going straight over those areas. That could very well bring in a lot more rain than expected for portions of Florida and Alabama. But definitely going to keep a, a, a close eye on this. As we look at the, the winds here, we're going to be seeing these gusty winds. They can very well have to 36 to 40 knots here as we continue to see these strong winds moving further inland. And then, of course, that does make landfall. And then as we, go, we look at the GFS model here, showing really the heavy rain for portions of right here. As it is showing, Georgia is actually now updated to possibly 2.5 inches here, 3 inches at most here. Portions near Tallahassee, you guys will see possibly one inch to so maybe two inches left at maximum to come. And also, really heavy rain for portions of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. You guys can see up to five and a half inches left to come here. And like I said earlier, we've seen up to four inches already. Now let's go check out radar scope so we can see exactly how much rain we've seen in the past hour. And also, looking at the possibilities for tornadoes. So here we are looking at radar scope very quickly here. So here we have special marine warnings for portions of the coast of Florida. Uh, Mississippi and portions of Alabama here. So here we're seeing these very strong outer bands here. Let's go ahead and check out actually see how far this is. We can see the system here. As you see, it kind of there's a huge gap here. So we are seeing here is the tropical storm right here. Actually, I don't know why I just used that. Here's a tropical storm right here moving in a uh, very, very close to portions of Alabama here in Louisiana. So here it is. Very, very heavy rain extremely heavy rain moving already for portions of Louisiana. But we're going to be checking out a really big severe weather threat for portions of actually Alabama. Mobile, you guys can be seeing some very heavy rain. You can see some incoming supercells here. Uh, likely where we did have a tornado warning uh, a couple minutes ago, actually. And super rush velocity. We aren't seeing too much rotation here. We'll see a couple more uh, tornadoes, most likely. Even water spouts, likely. As this does get a lot and a lot closer to actually making landfall. As you see, we're going to be seeing some very broad rotation for the general areas, but really not extremely impressive here. And let's go check out, before we check out the accumulated precipitation, echo tops here. And these have to be a bit higher because this is a tropical system here. Uh, it is actually echo tops up to 40,000 feet here, uh, even general areas up to 35,000 feet here. 
sorry, 30,000 feet, the 35, uh, 30,000, 35,000, even 40,000 feet here of Echo Tops. That's going to be some actually very good, pro a decent number there for potentially seeing uh, a, a thunderstorm or two. Also, let's not forget for, uh, Florida here. Actually, we had, we had a couple of tornadoes spawn up yesterday. And near Tallahassee, we're seeing a Tallahassee at the 20, uh, 25,000 uh, Echo Tops, which isn't really favorable, really. But at some point, we actually had fifty, uh, we had 45,000 feet Echo Tops here for portions of Florida. We even have a mesocyclone at this point. Let's go ahead and check out the the radar here very quickly here before we check out the total accumulated precipitation. You can see a ton, a ton of rain moving in Florida. You're probably thinking, oh, this, this system is in Florida. Well, it's all the way up into Louisiana, you're seeing extreme flooding already we have flash flood warnings for portions of gains uh sorry near greenville not far from gainesville florida there we are going to be seeing a ton of rain just to the east of tallahassee there but let's go and check out the total accumulated precipitation the past hour here let's go and check out here uh storm total rainfall let's go and check this is going to be the total amount of rainfall in the past coming hours here and as you see we've seen up to possibly five inches for portions of florida there tallahassee has only seen up to an inch actually only an inch of uh, the, the heaviest rain seems to be east of tallahassee part of ocala can be seen at the five inches there five inches are ready for portions of florida and we're seeing a ton of rain for portions of valdosta Let's go ahead and check out the also the mobile radar here, seeing exactly how much rain we've been seeing the past coming hours. Getting up to two inches already as the system has just arrived. We've seen a ton of rain for the past 24 plus hours for these general areas. Exactly why we've been seeing a higher totals because it's been there longer. But this is just arriving for portions of New Orleans. We're going to be seeing some decent numbers of rain. And we're going to be seeing these numbers climb as we continue to get closer on. I hope you guys did enjoy the video though. Please do not forget to like and subscribe here. Let's go and check if we have any new updates. Really, the only thing we have is new wind advisories, but that's all we really have at this point. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and bye guys.